As students transfer their breathing activities to their mouthpieces and eventually instruments, one of the differences that they're going to encounter is that the instrument creates um, a natural resistance to their playing. Um, when you're taking that deep breath and exhaling, uh, there's, there shouldn't be any resistance. The throat can accommodate as much air as the lungs can put out. It moves out smoothly. Take a deep breath right now, and I want you to think about that feeling of exhale um, and the lack of tension, the lack of resistance that comes with that uh, regular breathe, deep breathing. It's warm and full. As soon as we put on the instrument, the bore of the instrument, the throat of the mouthpiece, the embouchure itself starts to restrict how much air um, can actually move through and creates that sense of resistance. Now the good news about that resistance uh, is that it allows us to have our air sustained for a much longer period of time. The bad news is that um, our students are not necessarily accustomed to that, and they can have peaks and valleys in that, which greatly affect the sound once they put on the instrument. When we do sizzling, uh, we're doing a variation on that uh, timed breathing that we did earlier. In this case, it's going to be one count in and four counts out. And on those four counts, instead of it being an open, relaxed exhale, um, we're going to sizzle it. And when we sizzle, um, we're articulating the uh, consonant or consonant blend, T-S. And the goal is, is that we feel that back pressure and can hear whether the air is consistent or not. For many students, what they'll hear is that that sizzle varies in its intensity. They end up with a sound that has peaks and valleys to it. That pulses back and forth. We want to encourage them to keep it consistent. We also want to encourage them to have it be as active and buzzy of a sensation as they can. So one count breath in, and then four counts on a sizzle, and we'll repeat. Here we go. Four, uh, one count breath. One, two, three. Two, three. As you're doing this, I encourage you uh, to have your students, again, visualize that sound. The breath is an uptake with the hand, keeping the upper arm away from the body. It's really just an elbow wrist movement. And then moving that air forward, pushing it uh, so that there's a consistency to it. The goal is that the lungs are totally expended by the end of those four counts. Let's do that once more. Uh, we'll do three repetitions. Two, three. This activity then can be expanded as students start to gain um, greater lung capacity and then transfer it over to their instruments. So in this uh, repetition, we're going to do one count in and an eight count sustain. One count in and an eight count sustain. We'll do that three times. Two, three. As your students do the longer sustain, make sure that you're reminding them that they should be uh, keeping that sound consistent all the way across all eight counts. This is going to prepare them for playing on their instrument when we ask them to play for multiple measures at a time. Uh, we want to make sure that they don't put all of their air out there right away, that they maintain a quality sound while also being cognizant of how much air capacity they still have.